Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and I am bringing you today my um, intro video, my very first video for this collaboration that uh, Mom and I are a part of with Rach and Bella Crafts. This one is Hardy Creations and um, it is like heart hardy creations uh, the hashtag for this collab so that you can find every one of the videos all the creators all the crafters um, is going to be hardy creations 24 hardy creations 24 and um, we have I have all kinds of things going on even though it's like 9 p.m. That's <laughs> that's how it's been going here lately in our house. So um, anyway, I'm trying to stay on track and not listen to all the noise that's going on, going on around me. So, so Rachel had reached out to mom and I and asked if um, we would be interested in doing a collaboration with her and she said that this one was going to be just you know about half a month and um, she wanted to ask if we wanted to do one that was on the inspirational spiritual side and mom and I jumped at it we were like yeah that's us so yes let's do it um, so we're very honored to be um, the featured special guest designers through this collaboration. So make sure that you are following along and using the hashtag HardyCreations24. If you'll put that into your YouTube searches, you will find all of the creators and all of the videos, the channels, all that stuff, and you'll get to go along with us. And it's June 1st through June 15th. Mom and Rach put up um, videos yesterday. This is for the um, June 2nd, and I'm going to have to look into our group and find the um, little schedule because I did not print that off. That's how um, very unorganized I am lately. Okay, so here is our schedule and we all have prompts just like normal whenever we have uh, a Rach and Bella Designs, um, Rach and Bella Crafts uh, collaboration. So June 1st, it was Rach and Mom were yesterday. Uh, me and um, Najeza Creates, and I'm, I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that, uh, my prompt I chose was shape, and you will see why in just a moment. Um, Najeza is texture. Mom yesterday was craft. Rach was masterpiece. Uh, tomorrow it's Bella's Craft Studio. She's got Creator. Oh, I bet that's going to be awesome. Uh, Bumblebee Crafts has Stitch. So lots and lots of beautiful creators. Um, Angela Kerr, uh, Betty Ann Renfro's in here. Kara Brandon's in here. Corey Dahman's in here. Um, the list goes on and on and on. And y'all can see who all is in here. I'll let you scroll through. Sorry, my phone looks a little too bright for whatever reason. There we go. That might be a little bit better, but um, there are some there and then over here. So all kinds of beautiful creators with this collaboration. So like I said, me and mom are very um, humbled and grateful to be able to uh, be a part of this. So I want to go through the um, kits. There are three kits. Mom and my kits are on our um, website, scrapbookingwithme.com. So you can go there and get um, and pick up Mom's um, digital kit and my digital kit, and then Rage and Bella. So I will leave a link in the um, description box below so that you can find um, Rach and Bella's kit. This is theirs, this is mom's, and then that is mine. And we're going to go through quickly and show you all of them. So there's the collaboration uh, information, and if for whatever reason you want to take a screenshot, there you go. Three, two, one. And then here is the start of Rach's, and oh my goodness, it's just gorgeous. I love 
how she went ahead and put the little distress line where that's going to be, you know, where you fold out for your journal pages. And I will eventually make a journal with this, but today, since I'm starting out in the very beginning of the collaboration, I wanted to show you something that you can create to go along with your journal so that you can use it um, in your, you can use it in your Bible, you can use it in your, um, the journal that you carry around to do your notes and things in your Bible, your sermon, notebook, whatever. You can use it in any kind of journal, notebook, Bible, book, whatever. And I'll show you what we're going to do in just a minute. But uh, I will eventually make a journal with this these beautiful kits. It's just not going to be in today's video. It will be in a future video, though, and I hope to get it done before the end of the collaboration. And we'll go through it and show it to you. But, I mean, look at that, how beautiful these background pages are. So I have already went through and printed off all of my pages and even printed them double-sided. So you will see all of the background papers and all of the regular regular journal pages as well. That is one of my favorite backgrounds that Rachel made and you will see that a few times through here. Look at that, how pretty that is. Love it, love the background. The camera is gorgeous on that one. That's the backer that I put. The old timey um, microphone, look how cute that is. Make a joyful noise. And I love that background paper. You will see that one a couple of times. Also, this one was also a background paper, but I loved it so much that I made it pretty much a focal point. And see, there's that <laughs> background paper again. There's that one again. I was like, yeah, that's too pretty not to have it as a focal point too. So it's a focal. All right, and then she's got some beautiful ephemera. I printed these off on these. I printed these off on the um, premium copy paper, pen and gear premium copy paper from Wally Mart. So there are some fussy cuts. Look at these mannequins. How cute. Beautiful fussy cuts. And then she's got us some washi strips that go right along with the pages. Some more fussy cuts. And I love that she's got the borders around. She's got some pockets in here. Beautiful tags. Now the tags I printed off on 110 pound um, uh, 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 cardstock. And then I put backer on them too. The journal cards I also printed on cardstock and put a backer on. Because they will be going into pockets and, you know, in and out of pockets. Gorgeous. Love it. So that is R Rach and Bella. And then here is Mom's. Now, this first page that I printed, I printed one-sided because I want to make it a pocket page in my journal. Um, like I did on one of the my recent um, journals where I will glue just the edges and then we'll have either a side loading pocket here or we'll have a top loading pocket. So that was one of her backgrounds and then one of the front. Uh, not perfect, just forgiven. I love that. How pretty. For God so loved the world. And then that same background paper. Uh, the Lord gives wisdom. I love this Bible image. That is a gorgeous Bible image. And same backer paper. Because I love that backer one that she made. He hears, he cares, he can. Love it. I love the cross. He is the water of life. I can do all th all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 Look at this one. How gorgeous that is. This is one of the designs that we have on some of our little tote bags too. Very cute. 
and that hydrangea, my hydrangea is blooming. It is um, blue, really light blue and purpley looking this year. It started out pink. <laughs> These are beautiful. And I like that my backers are matchy matchy. I'm not worried about that. That one is different. Here are the freebies that Mama come up with. Gorgeous. Look at that backer paper. How pretty that is. That one with the little, um, looks like cherry blossoms or apple blossoms on the back. There's that same backer paper again that I put another backer on it. And I love this one. This one was probably supposed to be a backer paper also, but I loved it so much. And then the other uh, music paper. Then there's that one that I used so many times and I put that on one side of it. This one is also gorgeous. Almost has like a lace effect to it with the green backer. This one looks like a little bit of eucalyptus in there. Beautiful book with that mauve looking backer. Gorgeous wood grain with some flowers and green. And then here's some of mom's fussy cuts. I thought those were so pretty. Look at those beautiful birds. I will be cutting those out. And then she's got some pockets and tucks. And then her journaling cards. And then more beautiful fussy cuts. Okay, so that's mom's kit. And then my kit. Mine is the smallest of the three. Um, I just knew that they were going to have some of the most gorgeous pages and stuff. And, um, you know, I'm pretty new to all this. So I was a little bit intimidated. But um, I do like how mine come out. So thank you, Lord, for the flowers. Um, but I just put thank you for the flowers on there. Put some lace on the bottom. It's got a grid background with the flowers. And then I used one of Rachel's <laughs> backgrounds on the back of mine. This one, a little plainer, but also has a, like a little book stack. And then when you fold this, you're going to have some of that greenery and some of that ledger paper there. But then the greenery is going to come around this way too to go along with that. This one has the old typewriter with the little... A uh, stack of maybe love letters or whatever and it says on this day I was given so many blessings I cannot even begin to count them all so if you are writing in your journal you know that would just be a little prompt for you and do some writing there so that's how that page would look and that beautiful backer paper there a little bit of sewing or crocheting or knitting or whatever it is with that beautiful floral folded that's what it would look like with that backer and I used one of Rach had told us that any backers that I have y'all use them as foundation if you need to so you will see that that is very familiar that's one of Rach's um, backgrounds I just changed the color of it up a little bit and then did an overlay of the butterflies and flowers with that background this one, so when you fold it, you're going to have your flowers going that way, and then you're on the back, flowers are going to be going that way. And you've got some old postage looking markings in the back. This one, I love how this one turned out. So it's uh, a combination of some of Rach's backgrounds, one down the middle, and then a little floral there. So when you fold it, it's going to be right on the green. And so that's how it'll look folded. And then on this background, I did a little bitty background of one of the pages and then big here. So it's like a little patchwork piece. And then my ephemera sheets. So I've got some washi strips or they can be belly bands or page edges, whatever you would like. And it's just got some of the images over and over and over repeating on there. And then I know that when I make digitals, um, I make a lot of, usually make a lot of word phrases, uh, labels, things like that. I love 
uh, word labels and um, y'all seem to really like them too so I made a whole page of word labels and then this is some more word labels and then some image labels you could even write in there or type on it whatever you would like to do put some um, word stickers on these if you wanted to and then I have some journaling cards love that that's so pretty another little washi strip or you can use it as a page edge whatever you would like and then these um, when Rachel uh, approached mom and I about this and she said she wanted it to be like Bible journaling uh, themed this is what immediately come to mind is dangles and when mom showed these kits on one of her video, her first videos she said and Melina made these and she said I have a feeling I know what she's gonna use these for and they're gonna be awesome well I hope they are but yes I'm gonna use these as dangles and um, you could because I've made the little holes in each one of them you could just cut these out and then um, punch your hole and put it on maybe like a bulb clip and maybe put a little pearl on it or something like that and you've made it you're done you've got your little dangle I'm gonna go a few steps further so you know you could just use a bulb clip go through that put it on the spine of your journal and you've got a dangle I'm gonna go a few steps further though today and we're gonna show you what we have in mind for this and maybe you have everything on hand where you can make the same thing we're gonna make so I'm going to use some of my word labels I'm going to use my circle dangles and I will have to have some kind of twine then I will also be getting some ribbons and trims and things like that so if you've got a lot of ribbons and stuff lace anything like that go ahead and get that if you want to you know create along with me and um, you might need a little bit of liquid glue for what we're going to do to these because we might layer up just a little bit um, but other than that you're going to need some type of needle with your thread or hemp or whatever you want to use there and then like I said ribbons so before we get started I did want to um, let you in on something that I have um, started and just want to um, let you in on if there is something that you want um, if you have heard of this company and you want to um, get in on it and want to um, order some things from me you certainly can and I also got my very first monthly subscription from them and I am loving it so I have bought uh, from Pink Zebra for years and years and years and decided that I wanted to become a consultant and have the products um, at a discount so I have lots and lots and lots of these and this is wax melt sprinkles so this is my own little commercial in this um, video if you don't want to hear about uh, my newest obsession that is totally fine you can fast forward this is my newest obsession I love for my home to smell good love 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 for my home to smell good and um, these wax melts that I add into my wax warmers all throughout my house um, are lovely so there are over 75 different fragrances and um, you can purchase from my consultant website and I will leave that link always in the description box below um, they come just like this so this one is called simply lemon it comes just like this um, or you can attend one of my live parties and I can mix the sprinkles <laughs> we got a prize in there I can mix the sprinkles and make you a totally new scent this one has the scent Malibu dreams pink pineapple 
coconut and cotton, and tiki beach all together that I just named Hawaiian cocoa. So it's got all those different sprinkles in it, and it smells amazing. So that is something very unique with this company. Um, you can uh, attend a live party, and the consultant will uh, blend you together some sprinkles to make your own little unique scent but this is their monthly subscription box and y'all know I have shared monthly subscription boxes with y'all for a long time I love me some subscription boxes but this one is currently the only one that I'm um, associated with anymore um, I got tired of some of the other ones and quit them and this one I decided I'm going to give this one, give this one a shot so uh, Scent Flirt, a monthly fragrance subscription for home and body. And in this one, they have a new scent. This is Sunshine Citrus, and this is their hydrating body lotion spray. So you spray it on, and it's just like lotion when it goes on after you've sprayed it. That's a new scent, Sunshine Citrus. And to match that, Sunshine Citrus, I have never seen uh, bath and shower gel from Pink Zebra. So I'm very excited about that. This scent is amazing, too. Uh, and then we got a whole bag of back porch lemonade. It is zesty lemon, watery melon, and sugar citrus. So I love that. It smells so good. So that's a whole bag of the sprinkles like I was showing you in here, but just a different scent on it. And then this is the June exclusive paisley pick this is sun drenched citrus and it's got grapefruit and orange and raspberry in it it's so good and this is like a super sample of it and it smells so good so anyway if you are interested in any of our fragrances any of our wax melts or diffuser oils or room sprays or anything we've got all kinds of stuff we even have an entire pet line everything is non-toxic soy based and it's from U.S. soy farmers and I have a website that you can order from and then on that website if you want to become a scent flirt subscriber there is at the top of my website when you go into it you'll see scent flirt just click on that it is 34 a month and you always get more than 34 dollars worth of product in your box so there we go there's my little commercial of the video so I think I'm gonna go and I'm gonna um, cut out this I am loved by a mighty God I'm gonna get that label cut out okay there's that and I'm gonna go ahead and ink around the edges of it to get that nice distressed look so there is my label. Sorry, that was a little bright, wasn't it? I am loved by a mighty God. I'm going to set that aside. And then I'm going to pick out a couple of circles. And I think I want to do maybe one of these light pink ones and one of the green ones. Now, if you have circle punches, I tried to make these where you might could use a circle punch around a few of them and not have to cut by hand. Let's see. Oh, yep. That fits perfectly. That's the one and a half inch circle punch. So I'm going to go ahead. This is cardstock, so I shouldn't have any problem getting this punched out here. Try to get as little white space around the edge as I can but I'm going to ink around it anyway so it's not going to be a problem then that one is probably bigger than any circle punch I've got so I'm going to have to cut that one by hand um I think I want this one right here because I want the wording that little newspaper part that I've got I want it to barely show and it would there if I put it there it wouldn't 
No. So that's the only one that is really going to barely show. So I'm going to get that one cut out. Alright, then I'm going to ink around both. And am I an expert at cutting out circles? No. Not at all. But, I mean, I think the more wonky it looks, the more handmade it looks, and I think that's what we're going for, isn't it? So I'm good. That is the Vintage Photo ink. And I'm going to line up my little, I've got tiny little white circles to put these on. That is, like, so light since I've got the... Um, pages of the kit gone. I'm going to pull y'all down just a little bit because that was like super bright. Super bright white. So I'm going to get my tiny little hole punch if I can find it. Yep, that's it. So this is a Fiskars um, I don't think it's going to tell me a circle um, size, but there is of a tiny, tiny little one, and I'm going to have to get right up against it with my super bad eyes so that I can even see where to punch. Okay, there's one and a two. So then if we had a bulb clip that I put up while ago, We could put it through hole number one and through hole number a two. And then you've got a little layered dangle there. And I still think y'all are a little too bright. I say y'all. <laughs> My screen, I do believe, is a little too bright. I don't know why exactly that's happening. So here is kind of what I'm going for. And I have these little charms. So if you have a charm or something that you want to use, you can, of course, do that. Go right along with me. Now I've got to figure out, ooh, I think I'm going to use the little pink one, which one I want to use. And so this charm well once I got <laughs> these two circles back off the charm goes on first and then through hole number one and a hole number two so then we have that and I don't think I'm going to glue those together I think I'm just going to let them be wild and free and then this little label is just going to be glued onto that top circle and then the rest of it will just hang off so that's where my glue is going to come in and um, for anybody that's been around here for a while oh look at there it come right out I was gonna say it has been a while since I have been on my channel it has been a while there have been Lots and lots and lots of family things and schedule conflicts and just a little bit of burnt completely outness. <laughs> so it has been a very, very long time since I've been at this desk. As a matter of fact, I had to, I couldn't even see the top of the desk because there had been so much and so many people had piled so much on it um, that I had to do a lot of clean off. Um, am I where I was before to um, get a whole bunch of videoing done now that I've made this one? Probably not. Um, I 
still have lots and lots of irons in the fire and I, I just don't know I don't know I just <laughs> I, I like I said I was I was burnt out I was burnt out I am going to cut this string at about 24 inches this is just some natural hemp twine so I've cut it at 24 inches and I say was I still am a little bit on the burnout side um, I don't know I just wasn't finding the joy that I thought I had in paper crafting and please don't be shocked by that and go away from this video and go oh no Melina's gonna stop making paper crafting videos I'm not it was it started my birthday so that's been that was May 12th when we were on a family vacation um, and we all got sick and it was horrible I will um, be the first to admit that when you are four and a half hours from home and you have all your family held up in a hotel room and you are sick as a dog and um, you have no other family there to help you um, and everybody see I mean there's there's not one one of us there was not one of us four that could really help each other because all four of us were sick it was the most helpless overwhelming stressful situations that I've ever been in so it, my birthday was on Mother's Day that was a Sunday Monday we went to Dollywood and we were in Pigeon Forge we had already checked into our hotel we were thinking this is gonna be a grand week we got a whole week it's just family and it's not wrapped around ministry don't get me wrong I love our ministry I love the pilot family ministry I love going and ministering in churches and venues but we needed a family vacation it was just us four and it wasn't surrounded by ministry so we thought that that week was going to be ideal and we were going to get all of that and we didn't um, <clears throat> the Monday that we spent all day in Dollywood it was shorter for me and Aaron because he was not feeling good at all he was the first one not to feel good and he looked at me and he was like I mean it was like right after lunch he looked at me and he was like I'm so tired I said oh okay well I mean we can we can go to the vehicle you want to go to the vehicle and go rest for a little while because it wasn't steamy hot that day so <clears throat> he was like yeah mama okay he's never done that when we've been at an amusement park ever he loves all of that stuff he's never done that so um, I walk him back to the vehicle and Brandon and Bethany stay and do some stuff and um, they come back to the vehicle we never went back he like laid down in the back of our vehicle and we never went back into the amusement park and they came out about about two hours later and they were like, are you home? I said, oh, he's just, he's very tired. So <clears throat> we get back to the hotel. We got something to eat. The hotel had great restaurants in it. And we got something to eat. We walked around. We looked at the Lazy River. They had um, heated pools. And I mean, we were like, oh, okay. We've spent most of the day in Dollywood today. And, you know, the rest of the week, we're going to get to explore the resort and all this stuff at well when we got back to the hotel you could tell Aaron just did not feel good and he had a really really horrible upset stomach um, at 2 a.m. on Tuesday of my birthday week I wake up violently ill with my stomach 
it was an experience like I have not had since I was young and, you know, come home with a school stomach virus that everybody had, you know, and it was just violent. I have not been that sick in years. And I was very, very, very sick with my pregnancies. I dare say the sickness that I had my birthday week was the worst of my entire life. It was horrible. It was uncontrollable. We all took turns sitting in the shower of that hotel. Just being sick. And not being able to control our bodies. And just taking turns in that one bathroom being sick. It was horrendous. I could, we were so weak. We couldn't even get it. I mean, all day Tuesday, we were all four just in bed. Um, Bethany was the last one to get sick. And when she became sick Tuesday afternoon, Brandon and I had been so sick for so many hours. We were so weak. We couldn't even get up out of the bed to go in and help her. <laughs> And that was horrible. She knew, though, how horrible we felt. And we were calling to her from our beds. Crying. Asking her if she was okay, what we could do. And she just would say, I'm okay. And she would get sick again. I think that girl sat in the shower for an hour and a half with that water running just being sick over and over and over and over it was one of the worst experiences ever in our lives so Wednesday we were still so sick it was awful but Wednesday afternoon we were feeling enough of our uh, to ourselves that we got out and ate like the most blandest late late lunch ever that we could I think we all had like potato soup or something and we looked around Pigeon Forge for just a little bit I mean we were gone maybe two hours and we all looked at each other and we were like can we go back to the hotel now we were so tired went back to the hotel and stayed there I mean, we just stayed there, and we were still so weak, and some of us were still sick, and it was just bad. We left Thursday and come home, and we were like, this is ridiculous. Let's just go home to our own beds. So anyway, I, I share all of that to share with you when I experienced that, I was like, you know what? This is crazy for me to put as much pressure as I put on myself. And it's all self-inflicted. The, the pressure that I put on myself to make the videos that I make. And y'all know me. I don't make a video every day. I'm not one of those people that does that. Um, you are very blessed if you get three videos out of me a week. But with everything else that we have going on in our lives right now, that was overwhelming me. And when we left that vacation and we come home and I was like, you know what? I don't have to put that pressure on myself. I don't have to do that. So I just didn't. And it has helped me free up time for other things. It has helped me free up time for more family things. It has helped me free up time to be able to sit and actually watch TV with my husband and not have to think, not have my planner in front of me filling out the days of what I'm going to do a video on this date and what I'm going to do in Scrapbusters on this date and 
all that. It was very refreshing and it was a nice restart. And, you know, I will eventually get back to two or three videos a week. But I will never be your daily video girl. Y'all know that. The ones that are my faithful few. Y'all know that. So, anyway. Um... I apologize for the tearful story time and um, I hope that anybody that is just here to see the collaboration um, didn't get totally turned off by that and maybe when you heard the very beginning of it about how teary-eyed I was getting that you just fast forward through it and here we are. So I cut this twine to 24 inches. And what we're going to do is I want some ribbons and things that will match this. So we've got some green. We have got um, a little bit like a light pink. We have got some darker pink in there too. And uh, so this I think is going to be okay to use with that. It doesn't have to totally match. This piece is definitely going to go in with that. I think I'll get a different color of seam binding. Let's get some more lace to go with this. Ah yes. That is beautiful. So all we're going to do is start just layering up these pieces of lace and trim and ribbon and all the things. So then I'm going to get this beautiful light pink. This is from my scrap cabin on Etsy and I'm going to cut me off I have it up above my head so I'm going to cut me off a piece of that and we're going to make them all different layers and whenever we finish what we're about to do um, then we can cut them down to the size we want them so that's some really scrunched up seam binding so I'm going to get some of the scrunchy out of it and then I might get me some tan or cream also. Oh, I think that will be good. Maybe the lighter one right here. Looks like a stone color. Um, let me get the name of this one. This is mushroom. Hmm. Very appropriate. So let's have an end and cut that. I really, really, really was not even planning on giving story time in this video because I knew that it was the collab video and I wanted just to go straight into it and not make a big deal. But, you know what? I did it anyway. Um, now let's go with some regular ribbon if we can find any of that okay I don't need red oh let's go with some of this and it would be nice if I could find some light pink ribbon around here somewhere That's not long enough. That might be. No ducks. Um, this one's just going to be a lot of shabby chic, I guess. <laughs> that is quite all right. That and then... Let's see if I can find a little bit of a, ooh, I like that. And some of y'all are probably going to be like, what in the world? You are putting all kinds of different colors. Yeah, it's a shabby chic design. That is for sure. Maybe. Nah. How about, oh, let's do some of this cording. 
This has got, looks like gray in it. Let's do a little bit of that cording. I like that. Um, Ooh, and I like this green too. This is moss from my scrap cabin. I've still got tears flowing. My eyes are still just a leaking. It's like, I'm not done yet. Keep on going. Um, I'm gonna put that up there with all the rest of mine. So now we've got maybe, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like twelve different pieces of trim. And we're all just laying it right on top of each other. And if you've got some crinkly seam binding, just lay it down just as good as you can. No worries. And just lay it straight, straight across. And you can get it all straightened out later. But you just want everything laid out so that you can get this string right here, this 24 inch string that you cut earlier, to go right down the middle of everything. So you're just putting it underneath all your little trims and laces and things that you've got on there. Then you're going to pull up straight you're going to make a knot and then you're going to make another knot so double knot so now it looks like kind of like you're starting a bow there okay then you're going to pull that trim up that hemp twine or yarn or anything whatever you're using go for it you're going to pull that up and then you're going to kind of fool around with the laces and the trims and all the stuff and get you a top and a bottom of this oh I like that okay can you see where we're going with this it is still very, very light. I think the darker it gets, the more light it gets. I'm going to pull that down some. See if that helps at all. That helps a little bit. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these down straight, as straight as I can. And get down here and see, I've got just, I've got a few stragglers that need some trimming up. So I'm going to cut at a diagonal for some of these. They don't all have to be the same length, but I do want the longer stragglers to have a little bit of a diagonal cut on them so they look like they're supposed to be like they are. And then go ahead and trim this Baker's twine stuff a little shorter and then this and this okay then hold it up again I think I'll trim that one and we'll be good on the trimming part. Just a little piece left. Alright, then you're looking at it and you're going, Melina, that is a hot mess. Maybe. Maybe it is. So then I'm going to get that same trim that I cut there. I'm going to get another piece and it's going to be about 8 inches. And trim that off 
and I'm going to pull down all of these pieces, leaving that up there as is, and I'm going to come down about like this and give myself a little octopus head right here. So all, here are all the tentacles, <laughs> and here's my little octopus head right here. So then I'm going to wrap this around, this little eight inch piece. I'm going to wrap it around and I'm going to give myself a knot. Still trying to hold, you know, all these trims down so they stay tight. So like that pink one, before I do my double knot, I'm going to pull that down. So it's kind of like we're making a doll head right here. Okay. Then before we put that double knot in, I'm going to put my bulb clip on. And then we're going to tie that double knot so we secure <coughs> that bulb clip on there. Look at there how pretty that is. We got ourselves a little ultimate dangle and if I can I'm going to get a little <clears throat> bow made right here. Sorry my throat of course now that I have sobbed a little bit it's going to act all yucky. Okay so then we've got something like this, okay? And some of you are gonna be like, okay, Melina, so what? Now you've got that, what are you gonna do with it? I'll show you. So then I've got some wooden beads. And I think I wanna use that little terracotta looking one. Or that one's very pretty too. Ooh yeah, I think I wanna use that one and a creamy white one. Mm, let's just go with three. So we can use the terracotta one. And I just got those off of uh, the Zahn. Y'all know what that is. Y'all know what I mean when I say that. Okay, then you're going to get that hemp and get you a nice straight top. And if you've got a big blunt needle, then you'll have a big eye to get that hemp through. And you just sit and yank and pull and yank and pull until you get every strand of that hemp through. And if it's not working out, then you just pull it back out, straighten it out, and start again. So I will show you how I would use this. It is adjustable for whatever you're going to use it in, on, around, whatever. I'm going to give it just a little bit of help by getting all the strands together, hopefully. That is better. I think I'm close. Yes. Okay. So then, I want the creamy bead to be first. I think I want this terracotta one on first. I mean, I want the creamy one to be in the middle. <laughs> it's what I meant. I meant that. And then that beautiful wood grain one. I like both sides of that. And then that one will go third. So there is that so far. Okay. And then I'm going to pull off my needle and then I'm going to one more time get me a nice little ending on that and then you're going to get one more bead and it can match the other ones it can be totally different I think I'll get another terracotta looking one and I guess you could have, I could have just left the needle on there, but if you twist it just right, you should be able to get all those strands started through and get them pulled through there. OK, 
okay, like that. And then you can tie a little knot at the end so that bead doesn't go anywhere. Okay, like that. Now, let me show you how I would use it. So, if I had a journal, So it could go like this. So now if you have a huge journal, you are going to want to make this string a lot longer so that this part can be down here. This bead would be at the bottom of the page. So I'm gonna make a mini journal out of my all of my kits. So mine is not gonna to have to be too long. My tassel that I just made my tassel dangle is going to be probably bigger than my journal is going to be. I'm just saying. So you will probably want your string to be lots longer if you're making a regular size journal. So maybe cut it at 40 inches instead of 24 so that you can have enough room. Give yourself enough grace down here. But that is how it's going to look and see if my string was long enough, that bead would be at the bottom and it would be your stopper for the bottom of your journal. And then you've got your stopper up here for the top of your journal. And I have seen many, many, many people make these for their Bibles. Now, let me get my journaling Bible. I got my childhood Bible instead. I'll show you on this. Because this is what a lot of people are using it on. So they hook it there. And then it hangs like that. And then, like I said, this string is longer so that that bead is your bottom page stopper. So I would need this one a little bit longer if I wanted it. See, it would be like that. And then this would be long enough where that would be hanging out. Okay, I got me another 24 inches of twine, just so that I can show you how it's actually supposed to look. And I got to measuring, and I probably made my string a little too short, so. All right, so I'm just double knotting that, and then I'm gonna trim that. And then I'm gonna trim this. So yeah, I'm gonna have a knot in the middle of mine, but. With all that I have done and accomplished and went through <laughs> the last little while, I could really care less. Look at there. I just pulled it apart. Hmm. Yay. So I might not be able to um, trim those ends too awfully short. Let's see if I pull. You know what? That just gives it a little bit more creativity in my book. I don't care. At this point, we're just happy to be here. You know? All right, other string. You need to make your appearance through the bead, please. All strings go through the bead, please. You have to turn up on the other side. Okay, there we go. Now... Let's get our Bible back. And before we tie that off, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to put that bead there and close it up and see how much we need a little bit more just so it can hang nice and loosely there and not sticking out like this. So there is that, beautiful, and then you can adjust this however you need, push that bead up like that, and then give yourself a little double knot, or at least one knot. 
Then you can let that hang if you want to. You can cut it off. But see, you've got these that come with the Bible that hang down that far. And then there is your little dangle tassel. And of course, you can make the ribbons a whole lot shorter if you want to, if you're not comfortable with how long it hangs down. I am good with that though. So that is my first of at least two, but it is my first video for this um, collab. And I hope you have enjoyed it. I know it has been a little long, but um, I had lots of stuff to get through, huh? Y'all were my um, therapy, a little bit of my therapy today. So I appreciate you, all of my therapists. Y'all um, send me a bill in the mail, I guess. <laughs> but there you see, there's the bead at the bottom. And then you've got your tassel, your string there. And then you've got your little dangle there. I am loved by a mighty God. I definitely am, and it has been by His grace and mercy that I have even made it as far as I have, and um, that we came out alive on the other end of that all of that sickness that I told y'all about. So, thank you, Lord, for that. Thank y'all for being here, and thank you, Rachel and Bella, for inviting Mom and I to um, collab and design along with you in this kit. I have only used three items from this huge beautiful kit so we have a lot more to get done thank y'all for watching the first video i have made for this collaboration and be sure to follow along using the hashtag hardy creations 24 to see everybody else's um, video and you'll want to watch them give them a thumbs up and leave them a comment because i'm sure there's going to be some kind of little giveaway or something at the end y'all have a great day i'll see you in the next video i love y'all so much and thank you for having patience with me god bless bye y'all